It used to be closed. It used to be open and available in the public. Cemetery. People that dug up graves and them in the street. So it's been, stayed closed for a while. Um, it keeps it clean, but you can't really access it. It's not really activated. Um, so we've often thought about, you know, again, going back to sort of priority properties. How do we sort of activate this and make it more of an asset for the neighborhood? Whether it's promoting it more, whether it's having activities there more, whether it's making it look nicer. It's very closed, kind of. Um, and then the other note I wanted to say is that if you, if you turn around here, this building, the Sonic Hall building, another one of the older buildings here, um, related to some of the other art assets that are, that are related here, the Strand Theater, a lot of local nonprofits that do arts programming with local youth, um, you know, open studio space on a side street down Dudley Street, um, this building that's open to arts and culture. We thought a lot about how do we extend that arts and culture plan to sort of the broader community, and, and that also how it relates to sort of um, strengthening existing property. So, we're on a separate project, we're working with this building to um, sort of get it up to code to be able to market it toward arts-related businesses. Um, the fourth floor is actually being used by a performance troupe that uses there seasonally. And they, just, they do set design, they do rehearsal. Um, the Strand Theater often rents it out for set design as well. Um, that would be another tour in itself. It's like a fun house up there, it's pretty cool. Um, but like 25,000 square feet. Um, so some students there actually did a, a pop up a second pop up art gallery um, a few months ago. Um, it's part of Dorchester Open Studios. They're doing an event there over the weekend in October. Um, and the last thing I was gonna say, we walked by a vacancy next to the, next to our office, a smaller one. It's owned by the health center. That was the space down there, and then down Stoughton where we had the pop up art gallery that was intended to market it. Um, and so it was a great, successful event in terms of um, attendance, but obviously they're still vacant. So, you know, how do we think about, you know, bringing in businesses, new ways of doing that? So. Hey Max, now that everybody can hear you, could you say a couple words about why you work here? Why, why I'm at the... Yeah. Sure, yeah. So I was working in another nonprofit, Dorchester Bay. They do housing, they're CDC, and they do housing development, small business loans. I was, uh, I went to BU and I was out of school and took an AmeriCorps job there for a year. Um, I've been in the, I worked for a year, a year's really not enough time to sort of really get to know the people and build the relationships you want to do. So, um, our office actually used to be in Dorchester Bay and I knew the previous director, I knew the board, so, uh, I really wanted to find something to keep me in the neighborhood and so it, he was transitioning out as I was too and I decided to grab it. So, um, it's a really fun neighbor to work in, just in terms of the history and sort of the people that live here now. So, hopefully you guys will get to know some of that character here and that, sort of that personality of it. So, um, yeah, so we're going to be heading down this way now. Um, that's kind of in the direction you guys are headed anyway, so. Um.